Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Modesty33 here, aka Crystal with a C. Back at you with another video, but if you're new to my channel, you just happen to click on. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I try to put out one to two videos a week. I do sit downs, reviews, reactions, vlogs. So if any of that interests you, make sure you check out the prior videos on my channel. And if you see anything you like before you leave, make sure you subscribe. So you guys, it's been a long time since I actually kind of sat down and did a tag video slash, yeah, like, I did, well, I just did a review of a bag, but I really haven't had that much of like a focus lately with my videos. I think in the past month, as far as luxury and stuff is concerned. So I do still like luxury, but your girl is on a journey to pay off some debt. So yeah, we got to put luxury to the side as far as new purchases. But again, I think I mentioned in another video, I do plan on traveling a, a little bit toward the end of the year. So you may see some unboxings around that time. We'll see. But yeah, I wanted to do some tags, but um, I probably only have time to do one today. I am headed on the way out to Bible study. So I did want to do one tag video, and this tag is going to be the first five luxury items I would rebuy or repurchase if I had to. So um, I did really like this tag. I don't know who originally started it, so I, I'm, unfortunately I can't give you credit, but you know who you are So if you're watching this video. But anyway, um, I really did like this particular tag. It just kind of lets you, um, gives you a more of a focus. And especially if you're looking to tailor down some of your luxury collection, it really is good for you to kind of think about it more critically, like what items would I repurchase? So if you can think about what items you would like to repurchase, it kind of lets you kind of skim off some of your other collection if you're looking to sell some bags that you know maybe you really don't need or you really don't use that much. So I do like these tags because they do give you some perspective. So without further ado, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So I do have some notes here. And if I look down, that's what I'm referring to. But um, a lot of these items are items I've shown you before and I've talked about on my channel. So most of them shouldn't be any surprise. But the first item I would repurchase if um, I had to or if something happened and I lost the item. Um, the first thing would be, I would say my Louis Vuitton key clay. Or actually, it's a key pouch because key clay, I think clay is French for key. I don't know that for certain, but that's what I've heard. So really, you shouldn't say key clay, it's really key pouch. So, or you, or you should just say Louis Vuitton clay. So um, I would say my Louis Vuitton key pouch would be the first item I would repurchase. You guys, I got this May 2016, so it is almost three years old. Next month, this will be three years old. And I use this like pretty much every single day. I have cards in here. Um, also, I'll carry cash in here at times when I do carry cash. So I've like literally used this almost every single day since May 2016. So I would say um, if you're looking to buy a luxury item or dip into luxury, this has a really good price point from Louis Vuitton. <clears throat> Excuse me. This has a really good price point from Louis Vuitton. And it's something that you will get a lot of wear um, from. And um, definitely, I would say, yeah, as far as cost per wear, you definitely would get your um, use out of this if you use it like as a mini wallet or if you use it just to hold some cards or even like if you're going out real quick to run an errand. I really love this particular item. And again, this is the monogram Louis Vuitton clay in the canvas. I do have one in emprunt leather, but I would definitely say um, this one above the emprunt. This one is a little bit smaller and the price point is better as far as entry level Louis Vuitton. So um, that's the first item I would repurchase and those are the reasons why. So the second item, and I would say um, a Louis Vuitton scarf or bandeau. So right here, I would um, I have my Louis Vuitton um, Logo Mania rainbow uh, scarf here. So I bought this October of last year, you guys, and this is in the color navy. It does come in navy and black. I think navy was a new color added last year. So it is, um, I think, 81% wool, 19% cotton. It has it on the back here. But yeah, so this is the back side of the scarf. So it has, that's why it's called uh, Logo Mania Rainbow. So it has um, Logo Mania because it has all the LV logos and the uh, Fleur de Lis and all that on here. But it also has um, this rainbow color on the back of the scarf. So that's why it's considered a rainbow scarf. So that's the back of it. You could wear it either way this way or this way. I typically wear it this way and then when I put it on, um, I might have this side, this back side here peeking out. So this has to be, um, I would say, my most worn item. 
one of my most worn items from Louis Vuitton and I just got it again in October. So I would definitely say, um, depending on what climate you live in, like if you live, especially in Midwest or in the North, um, and on the West coast, I would say even maybe, um, I think this would be a very good item to get. I live in South Carolina, so winters do get cold. We do experience autumn. We do experience winter. We don't get snow typically, but sometimes we do. So um, this is a good item, I would definitely say. Um, I got a lot, a lot of use out of this since I got it in October. And then this is, again, like I mentioned in another video, this item right here is my most complimented Louis Vuitton item or luxury item. Anytime I wear this, by far, I always get compliments from men, women, boys, girls, always get compliments. So this one is definitely a statement piece. It is a showstopper. So I would highly recommend something like this. Um, they do have different types of Logo Mania scarves at Lo Louis Vuitton. So you wouldn't have to necessarily get the rainbow one, but I really love this rainbow one because it is very stunning. So this would be the second item I would say um, I would repurchase because I would definitely say, again, you would get a lot of wear out of it depending on where you live. So um, my criteria for repurchasing is how much I wear it or use it. So that's the second item. The third item here is going to be my Louis Vuitton. No way. So you guys, um, which is funny because like this is actually the first luxury bag in my collection. Um, I did talk about this in a few other videos. I have a few different videos on this particular bag, but I have replaced all the leather on this bag, not because I really wanted to, but because of one of the straps breaking and I had to end up getting all the leather replaced. So um, the bag does look a bit newer than it actually is. I think this bag is actually from the 90s, but again, the leather was replaced back in 2016, the end of 2016. So, um, yeah, and I do actually have this um, Louis Vuitton Steven Sprouse Leopard Bandeau um, weaved through here. So, again, um, I really love bandeaus because of their versatility. Now, this particular bag, I like this because it is a Louis Vuitton classic. You don't hear necessarily a lot about it. They do have the Neo Noe and the Mini Noe, also Petite Noe, the um, new model. I mean, they have a lot of different Noe's, the Epi ones. So, but I really like this one. This is a classic No Way. Um, they do still sell this with Louis Vuitton. It may be called for availability. But um, this one originally, I think, is from 1933 as far as the design of it. And it was made to hold five wine bottles, four right side up, one upside down. So it's very big. I have been using this bag since last month for work, especially. Um, what I really love about it, because I do have a Neverfull. Oh, Lord, I just noticed an ink stain oh my gosh you guys but this right as of now it's probably a forever bag so it doesn't matter to me <laughs> i just noticed an ink stain in here but it's cool it's a forever bag at this point especially as much as i've been wearing it lately so um let me show you guys the inside i have done like a what's in my bag and a few other videos so this is just kind of some of the stuff on the interior so i am still using this for work and traveling um as i do go out and do visits for my job and so I would definitely say that this one has gotten a lot of use, especially lately and especially too, as we're getting into the springtime, um, this is a good bag as well, but it does have a lot of fachetta leather on there. So you have to be mindful of that with rain spots. I don't really care anymore at this point. I just really like using it. Um, and I like this one more, I would say than my never full. I do like my never full. I have kind of done a video about that as well, as far as some issues I've had with my never full or issues I have with the never full. But the main seller to me on this particular bag is the strap. So it does have a very thick strap. Unlike the never full, the never full has two little smaller straps. This one has a thicker strap. So it's more comfortable on the shoulder. And then it has a longer strap drop than the never full does. So when I do wear this bag, I can fit a lot of stuff in here. I have done, that was my last video as far as certain things that fit in here. My laptop fits in here, my clipboard, my notes. So I have been again using this bag for work primarily over the past two months. So um, if you're looking for something that is a bit different, if it's you don't want to necessarily look like everybody else who has the Neverfull, I would highly recommend this bag. You can get it pre-loved at a fairly decent price. Um, I would opt to pay a little bit more if you can for it. I did get this bag originally for $275, wore it for four months, then ended up, um, the strap ended up breaking, had to replace the leather. 
So I would definitely recommend if you find this on eBay or Fashion File, wherever you buy luxury, um, invest in paying a little bit more if you do want this bag because um, you want something that you will have for a while before you have to end up replacing the leather so or replacing any parts on there. So I think I would say that universally for anything that you buy, if you can pay a little bit more unless you're into refurbishing bags or anything like that, I would highly recommend it, especially if it's going to be a daily bag. So um, definitely this is one I would recommend as far as my third item, the Louis Vuitton No Way. And this is, again, the original No Way GM, whatever you want to call it. Um, the fourth item is going to also be from Louis Vuitton, and it is my Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse in the Emprunt Leather in the color Charisse, which is like a red. So this is like a tomato red, I think. Hopefully it's showing up very well let me put a little bit closer and this does have the gold hardware with the buckle and this is what the bag looks like i did get this bag in um 2017 when i went to london england with some friends from church and i did go and get this from selfridges so this bag again is almost two years old and i don't know if i mentioned my no way is about three years old because i got it may of 2016 the same month that i got my louis vuitton clay so I got those the same month. And again, my Noe is actually the first luxury bag I got in my collection. Don't know if I said that. I don't recall. But yeah, I wanted to put that out there. So this bag right here, again, I purchased this one June of 2017. Um, and got it in Selfridges in London. So it was at a better price point than it would have been if I would have bought it here in the States. So really like that. And I think this bag maybe has seen a price increase too since I purchased it in 2017. I know that the Pochette Matisse has had a lot of issues and a lot of people have, you know, had some issues with the glazing. I don't think I've had any. Um, again, this bag was made in 2017. Got this one from London. And thus far, I haven't had any issues with it. It is like a little disfigured because I do overstuff my bags, but they are made to be used. So for me, they're meant to be used. I'm not like a collector in the sense that I just let stuff sit on the shelf. No, all my stuff is used because I can't afford that, you know. So this is the interior. I do have this metal compartment stuffed and the strap is right here as well. So I think that this Emprunt does wear very well. Um, there are some scratches on the hardware, you know, where the gold is kind of coming off a little bit, but it's really not that noticeable unless you're um, up close, but I really love this particular bag because anytime I wear it, I know where all of my stuff is because of the compartments. So, um, this bag serves to kind of help organize my stuff and I still don't really have to downsize that much when wearing this bag. I can wear it multiple ways. I can wear it top handle. I can wear it, um, on the shoulder with the strap and I can also wear it crossbody. So I would say that I would repurchase this because it is a versatile bag. I can wear it multiple ways in multiple occasions since it is the Emprunt. So I can dress this bag up or it could be casual. So that's what I really love about my Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse in the Emprunt Leather Color Charisse. And the last item that I would repurchase if I had to would be the bag I'm wearing tonight, which is my Chanel and the only Chanel item on this list. But this is my Chanel Jumbo Caviar Leather Silver Hardware. Um, and this again is the jumbo. I did get this bag October of last year, 2018. Um, to be honest, if I could do it again, I probably would have waited with this bag <laughs> because like right after I bought this, then I got into a car accident and I had to get a new car. So yeah, your girl not banking like that quite yet. So that was a bit of a hit. But praise God, I did not lose anything in the process. It's just you have to be wiser with your budgeting and with your finances. So, yes, I have talked about that some, I guess, maybe in my vlogging time. So if you're interested in learning more about that or learning more about me in general, and you can definitely refer back to those videos. I haven't done, I haven't put out the unboxing actually for this particular bag yet or for the um, Louis Vuitton Logo Mania scarf because I got them around the same time in October, but I will be putting that out soon. But yes, this is my Chanel Jumbo and it is the newer series because again, it was purchased in 2018 from Neiman Marcus. Um, I ultimately decided with the silver hardware because most of my things are in silver. So um, I did choose to do that. Um, this right here is just... Um, I think it's like a really good daily bag. It fits enough to 
it, it definitely you don't really have to downsize i don't feel like with this particular bag um you would have to downsize like if you're used to a bag like my louis vuitton no way of course which is a big bucket bag but um yeah if you don't carry that much stuff then this would be a really good bag um i like the silver hardware because i feel like the silver will wear better over time as opposed to the gold so that's why i did get, end up getting the silver overall and then plus most of my items are in silver the bag is heavy if you want to say that it has some weight to it when you put your items inside but for as much as the bag costs i want the bag to have some weight to it <laughs> i mean i really want the bag to have some weight I, I want it to have a good bit of weight because you want to you want to feel what you're paying for so anyway Yes, I love this particular bag. Again, it's in the caviar. Let me put it up a little bit closer. So it does have a slight sheen to it um, when you do have it in the sunlight, but otherwise it's a little bit dull. But um, let me just open this and kind of briefly show you the inside. So I do have it pretty much like stuffed with all of my things um, that I have in here. And I do have like some wet wipes in this like back pocket here. That's the only thing I will really carry back there um and i don't really carry anything in the back pocket now i would carry my cell phone if it was not in the case in this um pocket right here i have done that before so it's still fairly tight so yeah this bag right here i just love it it's just like the quintessential chanel bag to me um i wear it yeah whenever i go out of town i wear it for like my date nights um that i do and i just love it it's just like a very nice it can be casual but yet it's dressy i feel like it dresses up any of your outfits so yes this is the bag i'm wearing in bible study tonight this is the bag i'll probably be wearing throughout the weekend but um yeah those are my five items again i would purchase repurchase if um if i had to and the other thing about this particular item i definitely would repurchase it like if i had my way i would have purchased it a long time ago because this continues to go up in price and in cost so definitely this is a bag that if you can't afford it i would definitely get on top of because it continues to go up in cost and i just wasn't going to handle any more price increases from chanel so i just went ahead and got the bag but um you would you know if you keep the bag in good condition and you take care of it for upcoming years then i feel like you would get your um money back out of this particular bag again if you do take care of it and you know granted um, luxury is still like, you know, desirable in years to come if people can still afford it. They're definitely going to go for the classics, which the Chanel Jumbo is definitely a classic from Chanel. So anyway, guys, those are the five items I would repurchase if I had to. So let me know below what are items that you would repurchase if you had to, or what do you think about these particular items? Would any of these be on your list or not? And if not, what would be on your list? So definitely put that in the comment section below. But if you like this video, make sure you do give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure you share it with anyone else who likes these tag videos. I am going to be hopefully filming more in the upcoming days. But you guys have just been really busy with work. So that's why I haven't really been filming. But um, yeah, so I do plan on filming a couple other tags. So hopefully you did enjoy this one. But yeah, if you do enjoy this video and you enjoy, you're looking forward to seeing some other videos that I do put out, make sure you subscribe to the channel. You do that again by hitting the red button below and making sure you hit the bell next to it so you're notified when I do upload future videos. Again, you guys, thank you so very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you in my very next video. Bye, guys.